Hi y'all, I am back at it again. I have I went home and took me a shower and um, watched a little TV and I went to sleep probably about 10 o'clock. Uh, let me tell y'all what happened. Okay, so I was at the riverfront and it was freezing, absolutely freezing, but I was gonna brave the weather for my blessed ones. Just to give y'all uh, somewhere new to walk, new scenery. But then the wind was whipping so hard that you really couldn't even hear me talk. So I was like, this is futile. Honey, I'm not walking and I can't talk to my blessed ones. Or I can talk to my blessed ones, but my blessed ones can't hear me. So I said, this is futile. I'm going to go to the mall and walk. I got this bright idea, this aha moment. I could go do mall walks. Some malls will open like an hour or two earlier and let people, the public come in and walk. Well, I called my mall. That was probably only about five minute drive from where I was. And they say, yes, they have it, but not until nine. At that time, it was 7.30. I said, I'm not going to the mall, sit in the parking lot, sleep or whatever, and wait till nine o'clock. So I said, I'm taking my butt home and get some rest. So that's what I did. I, I went, got home probably close to, close to eight o'clock and took me, like I said, took me a shower, watched me some TV and then got to sleep maybe about 10 and I woke up at about 2.45. It's 4.15 now. I woke up at about 2.45 and I was like, let me get up out of here and go walk so I could talk to my blessed ones. One of my blessed ones told me that she actually got out and walked with me. I think maybe as she listened to me and then one of my blessed ones said that I inspired her to get up and start cleaning up and listening to me while she was cleaning the house. Hi, Goldmouth. That's my homegirl from a neighborhood. I know her from back in the day when she was a little old thing. Y'all, today's main topic is about helping people and not feeling any type of reciprocity. My husband and I have gotten a call or text from, I would say at least three people in the last week, in the past week, from people, not in our immediate family, so this is not an immediate family member, but three people that we know who are asking for help. These are people who we perhaps have helped before in the past, or perhaps this might be the first time we're helping, but they've called or text or did both enough voicemails and all that asking for help. And I just got a little discouraged in my spirit for a quick second. I had a quick relapse of recovery time, but I'm gonna tell y'all what happened in the middle of that relapse and recovery time. We've helped so many people in so many different ways. I'm talking about financially, giving of our abundance when we had abundance, giving of our last when we had barely anything or even had enough to pay our own bills, our own church rent. We've given out of abundance, we've given, given out of our lack. We've opened up our homes to people at one time or another we've had at least 30 different people to come through and either spend a night a couple of nights a weekend a week a couple of months up to even a year and i am not complaining at all i am thankful that i am so so blessed to be a blessing. Believe me when I say I'm grateful to be the lender and not the bar above and not below. So I'm not complaining. I'm just 
building up this story to show you a point about reciprocity and what I was thinking, what I was feeling during that lapse and recovery time when I was in my human natural state and not in that spiritual state of being. Now I know some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about because some of y'all are always in that spiritual state of being. And hey, I say God bless you that you are always in that spiritual state of being. But honey, first lady can get in her flesh every now and then. But it's all about my relapse and my recovery time. How quick is it? So during this relapse of forgetting that I am the lender and not the borrower, I'm above and not below, I start getting in my feelings and saying, whoever gives to us, whoever remembers us, whoever reaches back to us and say, I remember when my girlfriend threw me out and I didn't have anywhere to go and you all took me in. I remember when I came from out of state and came down to Florida and didn't have anywhere to go and didn't know nobody and somebody told me about your church and you all took me in for a couple of weeks. I remember when I didn't, I was evicted from my home and me and my child needed somewhere to stay and you all took me in for three months. I remember when my family and I needed somewhere to stay and you allowed us to stay here. You know, yes, I was in my flesh saying, whoever remembers us, whoever says, I remember when you didn't look upon me with judgment. I remember when you let me stay with you and you didn't know me from Adam. You didn't even run a background check. You didn't ask for a penny. Now don't get me wrong. There are some people in our lives who are so good to us. My family, my cousin and her husband. So believe me, we have, you know, awesome church members who love us, who work hard for glorious, who gives to us, who takes care of us, who feed us. So I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about people who we've done stuff for over the years. And as things get better, as they get more prosperous, don't even look back to say, I remember when you did this for me. Let me take you to dinner. Let me give you a gift card. But as I started lamenting the fact that people that we've helped and extended our home, our money, our love, our time, those people that we have helped and find no reciprocity for. As I was in my feelings and thinking about all of these things and all of the and regurgitating all of these memories, I then remembered, as a matter of fact, the Holy Spirit who brings all things to our remembrance reminded me that I am a servant unto God. And everything that I do, and everything that my husband does, and everything that we do, we do it to the glory and honor of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he shall repay. He is the one who has blessed us to be a blessing. And we can't look for reciprocity from people. Yes, God is going to, there's a verse that says, give and it shall be given unto you, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give unto your bosoms. So God is gonna have men and women, of course, give unto you according to your giving, and it's gonna be pressed down, shaken together, running over. But it's not gonna come from those people that you've helped. It's gonna come from people that you never knew, 
you never heard of, you maybe even never met, or maybe you know casually, or maybe you know through YouTube. I encourage you, because I know it's not just me feeling this way. I know many of us has, have felt this way, where you have helped people, you have helped family, you've helped acquaintances, you've helped friends, you've helped coworkers, you've put money in at work for the baby showers, and for the weddings, and for the, and for the birthdays, and they forgot your birthday, or they don't acknowledge or recognize certain events in your life, and you're sick of it. Don't decree and declare that you're not helping anybody else because nobody ever helps you. If I'm talking to you and you're the one that's always giving and at times you get discouraged because nobody's giving to you, I'm just encouraging you, encouraging you. Let's not get weary and well doing. So as I encourage you, I'm also encouraging myself because it can get weary at times, always being the giver, always, always being the giver. But don't get weary because what I have discovered and what the Holy Spirit brought back to my remembrance, quick, fast, and in a hurry, was that I have declared that you are blessed. You are the lender and not the borrower. You are above and not beneath beneath so rejoice i'm just telling you rejoice that you are so blessed to be able to give and god is going to give back to you in other ways through people that you can't even imagine people you haven't met people you haven't done anything for or even maybe even perhaps somebody that you have done something for and they might remember you god this is my husband driving up here i told him where i'm gonna be walking no, that's not our car. I wish, but. He if you told me if you went there to beat your ass. <laughs> uh, and I got the evidence on camera. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put it on the camera too. Yeah. I told the people that pastor like to use that word. Yeah. Now I got the evidence. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Pastor Charles doesn't believe in that one of the members that's thou should not lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. <laughs> believe me, I, anything he tells you that I said, don't believe it. And anything he tells me you said, I won't believe it. <laughs> if you didn't hear from me and I didn't hear from you, okay, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's our deal. How long are you gonna be here? I uh, probably got another three times around, so. Oh. Yeah, my husband, something else. Y'all pray for him. <laughs> I've completed two miles and I'm contemplating one more mile to make it three. So I am going to go three times around is one mile. So I'm gonna do this first leg and see if I feel like completing. But I met my goal. I wanted to walk at least two miles today. But I did have some hot chocolate and a grilled cheese sandwich from Dunkin' Donuts this morning. It was so good. So I'm thinking I gotta put in a little bit of extra, time, extra, cause I'm not gonna do any Zumba tonight cause I have Bible study. So I'm thinking I need to put in this one last extra mile for that good old Texas toast grilled cheese sandwich and extra large hot chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead on and knock out these last two laps to make it three miles and I'll see you all at the finish line. Y'all I did it three miles. I'll post the stats right after this. Just want to encourage you again let's not be weary in well doing. Whether that is doing well at work, doing well in your home and your husband or wife or spouse or significant other or your children are not recognizing um, all of your good and all of your efforts and they're taking it for granted. Don't get weary in well doing. Don't get weary in well doing at work. You're not receiving the recognition um, that you are the pay that you think you deserve. Let's not be weary. Don't get weary in giving to others. Most of all, don't get weary in our efforts to stay healthy and get fit because I know it can be discouraging. It can be hard. Um, I'm preaching to the choir here, but let's not get weary in our well-doing and don't get weary in your failures. Get back up and try again. This is my umpteenth time, and I will not give up. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed.